Hey folks, I'm welcome to Scott Trans. Today is Thursday and I'm Jessie. So this week's topic we are talking about being transgender and is there a need for therapy? So my two pants on the topic is basically that mental health therapies such as cognitive behavioural therapy, CBD for short, or things like mindfulness, um, yeah basically mental health therapies on the NHS to get a referral it's normally done on some sort of a case-by-case -case basis if you were to get a referral to a mental health professional um, you'd usually get an assessment appointment to begin with anyway to see where the mental health professionals can assist you and aid you through what is causing difficulties and support and whatnot so that's kind of how mental health therapies are handled so what I figure is that although I am transgender, yes, and yes, I have mental health issues, I see them as quite distinct. There is inevitably going to be some sort of overlap of things which may distress me more or not because I happen to be trans, but I don't see the whole root of the reason why I have mental health issues being because of my gender identity. I don't see that as a thing. Um, that's me personally anyway. Um, other sort of forms of therapy such as counselling, that's a bit more available I think. I've got the general impression that counselling is much more available than say you know CBT or whatever. Um, and many organisations offer counselling. Uh, it's always offered in schools and colleges and universities and also LGBT plus large and also large LGBT plus organizations such as LGBT health and well-being see the description see in the description below uh, a link to LGBT health and well-being so yeah there's always therapies available if that would be useful to you and support networks the works kind of thing as I've already covered in the previous video. Um, I'm not really sure what else to add on this topic so I'm going to try and wash my fresh tattoo again and actually enjoy what's rest of the day. <laughs> 